Hello everybody. Today we're going to create a virtual machine of Microsoft DOS 6.0 in VMware Fusion. First thing you want to do is open Safari and go to winworldpc.com. Once you get to the site, you want to type in ms-dos in the search bar and click search. Next, you'll want to select the MS DOS 1981 version and you'll want to choose version 6.0, 6 6.2, 6 6.21, and 6.22 were all upgrades to 6.0. After you've selected it, you want to scroll down and you want to click on Microsoft MS DOS 6.0 full in the three and a half inch floppies that were 1.44 megabytes each. Go ahead and click on that. Click on whichever server and it'll start downloading for you. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to Google and you want to search for the unarchiver for Mac. It should be this very first result. It's the top free unarchiving software for Mac OS. Then you want to click on download and save that. Now both of these are going to show up if you click on finder and you click on downloads. It's going to be right there in your downloads folder. First you'll want to click on the unarchiver you'll want to double click on that it'll open up and you'll want to drag this icon and let go on applications now I already have it installed on mine so I don't want to install it again next thing after you've installed it you can right click on Microsoft DOS 6.0 and you can say open with and you can choose the unarchiver if it doesn't show up you can go to other then you can click on applications on the left side and you can scroll down and you can choose the unarchiver and click open Then you'll have the files that you'll need to create your virtual machine. What you want to do is open up VMware Fusion. I uh, just happen to have mine here on the dock. So go ahead and click on that. And then you want to click on create a custom virtual machine and click continue. Then you would want to select other and click on MS-DOS and click continue then you don't want to change any settings here because you want to create a new virtual disk and click continue and then you want to leave all these settings the same and go ahead and click finish here you can change the name of it I'm going to go ahead and name mine ms-dos 6.0 and then click save now it automatically went ahead and started I didn't have the floppy disk connected so I'm gonna go up here to the virtual machine and tell it to shut down and then it's gonna ask are you sure you want to shut down go ahead and shut it down the next thing you want to do is go into back up to the virtual machine and go into the settings then you want to add a new device and you want to click on floppy drive and click add now here what you want to do is you want to go find the files that you've already downloaded and I just happen to have mine in the shared downloads folder under Microsoft DOS 6.0 I have disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3 so I'm going to go ahead and select disk 1 and open it and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's connected and I'm going to close this next I'm going to go ahead and start up the virtual machine and then I'm going to click inside the virtual machine. Now it automatically went to where I can go ahead and install MS-DOS 6.0. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter on the keyboard. 
and then it's going to go ahead and automatically configure the unallocated space so that I can use it to install Microsoft DOS 6.0. So I'm going to click next or enter and then it's going to ask for disk one. I've already got it connected to the floppy drive so we're going to go ahead and press enter. We're going to leave all those settings the same, not going to change anything, and we're just going to press enter again. It's going to automatically install DOS onto the C drive in a folder called DOS. So we're going to go ahead and press enter. Now here it's asking for setup disk number two. The way that you can get to your mouse so you can change the disk is on your Mac. You click on control and command at the same time and let go and it releases the mouse so you can move it. Then you're going to click on the floppy disk right here or floppy drive. Go to the floppy settings and we're going to change this disk image. So I'm going to choose the second disk image which is called disk 2 and I'm going to tell it to open. Now when this updates and says disk 2 I can go ahead and close this window then I can click back inside here my mouse will disappear and I can press enter now it's going to copy those files that were on disk number two now it's so quick on these new machines that I can go ahead and press control and command again which releases the mouse and I can change to disk number three So I'm just choosing disk number three, opening that, waiting until it says disk number three, and then I'm closing this window. And now I'm going to click one time right here, and then I can move my, the mouse disappears, and then I can click enter. Now it's already finished, so what we want to do is to remove the disk, all you have to do is press control and command, and then click up here where it says floppy, and you can disconnect the floppy. Once this is no longer black but kind of turns gray, there you go, it just turned gray. You can click back on this window, the mouse will disappear, and you can press enter. Now it's going to restart, and you can boot up from MS DOS 6 on the virtual machine. There you go. Now, if I just type in version, or VER for version, you have MS-DOS version 6 installed in the VMware Fusion virtual machine. To turn off the virtual machine, all you do is press Control and Command at the same time. Click on the virtual machine and click on Shutdown and Shutdown again. And now you have a perfectly good working copy of MS-DOS 6.0 in VMware Fusion. So I'm just choosing disk number three, opening that, waiting until it says disk number three, and then I'm closing this window. And now I'm going to click one time right here, and then I can move my, the mouse disappears, and then I can click enter. Now it's already finished. So what we want to do is to remove the disk, all you have to do is press control and command and then click up here where it says floppy and you can disconnect the floppy. Once this is no longer black but kind of turns gray, there you go, it just turned gray, you can click back on this window, the mouse will disappear and you can press enter. Now it's going to restart and you can boot up from MS-DOS 6 on the virtual machine. There you go. Now, if I just type in version, or VER for version, you have MS-DOS version 6 installed in the VMware Fusion virtual machine. To turn off the virtual machine, all you do is press Control and Command at the same time. Click on the virtual machine and click on Shutdown and Shutdown again. And now you have a perfectly good working copy of MS-DOS 6.0 in VMware Fusion. I hope you liked this video 
And if you did, please like and subscribe below. And I'll be putting up more videos shortly. And I'd love to see you next time. Thanks.